Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over my top three most used slash most helpful plugins in a Roblox studio for building. These are great for beginners and professionals like anyone can get value from these plugins. So the first one, and these are not in order, they're just my favorite three, okay? So the first one's going to be Part to Terrain by Fasty48. All the links for the plugins will be down below in the description. But basically, you go ahead, click on your material, and then you could just click on parts, and they will make them that material. So, you don't have to go with the terrain editor. I don't know if it's just me, but the terrain editor seems pretty hard to use, and pretty hard to make everything perfectly smooth. There's always, like, bumps in the terrain and everything like that. So, this part to terrain is definitely one of the most helpful plugins, at least for me. And then I could go ahead and switch this to, like... I don't know asphalt and go for here and now we have roads so just like that it's very very simple to go ahead and make a whole map you would just map it out with normal parts as you see and you can make a whole map just like with a few clicks all different terrains and everything like that instead of painting and all of that stuff so there's number one the second plugin I'm going to show you guys is Archimedes V2. It's this one right here, and it's by far the most used plugin I have. I use this probably every single build I ever have done since I got the plugin. So basically, you can pick what angle you want. So either the X axis, X2, which is usually the one I use because it's like flat on the ground. And then you can go ahead and render a circle. So if you want a very simple circle, you could do that. And you can make these very smooth circles as well if you go with like a smaller part. Alright guys, my bad. My dog was going a little nuts. So as you can see, as you scale the part, it scales both parts. So the part it has and the part you'll be spawning in. And you can use this to make any size circle you want. You do have to make sure to have like an angle. You can set it to negative if you want to spin the opposite way and everything like that. Let's go ahead and click here and we'll go negative 50. Now that's going to be very, very hard angles. But if you go like negative 5, it will make a very smooth circle. Oh, I rendered once. Let me go ahead and render the circle. So there you go. You have a very smooth, smooth circle. Uh, the most helpful thing I use this plugin for would probably be paths for maps. So I just kind of set these up like a normal path would be. Something like this. And you kind of just click a few times on render once. And then you could switch this to like 10. Start going the other way and render them like that. And then you just keep switching the number. You could go like negative 20, you know. Keep switching it up. And it's very simple to make paths. So I would definitely recommend this plugin. Oh, we made a little face. <laughs> and you can also do this with a whole model at once. So I mean, I wouldn't recommend selecting everything. But as you can see, I have all of the parts selected. I'm going to go ahead and render circle just to see what happens. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, wow, that looks pretty cool, actually. But yeah, it's a, a really cool thing. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this stuff and get into the third plugin. All right, guys. So for my third most helpful plugin, I'm going to have to go with the brush tool. Okay, now this plugin is very, very cool. Let me go ahead and close all of this stuff and click to start. So with the brush tool, all you have to do is go ahead and select a mesh that you want to be added. I already have this added, but you would just click add after you select your mesh or your part even. So you could do that, but since we already have it selected, boom, you could set the radius, the spacing, ignore water, ignore invisible, all this stuff, and it can randomly generate the angles, the spread, everything like that, and you could just paint on grass. So, and you could use this for trees as well, just make it a lot bigger, like your spread from them, but it automatically rotates them and everything like that. So as you can see, just like that, we have three randomly placed grasses. Now, as you can also see, the spread is way too high. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these and make it spacing like 0.1. I think that'll be all right. And the radius, I mean, this could be huge. Like, if you want to cover a whole map, just hit it with, with some of these, all right? And you could just paint on grass. And this would only be if you do not want to use the Roblox grass because, you know... I don't know, maybe have a specific model. Like, these are straight-up grass pieces. The Roblox grass is all kind of curvy and stuff. But in about 30 seconds, we just made this whole map have grass. So, pretty cool. Definitely a very helpful plugin. And you could do this with trees and all the sorts as well. Literally anything you want. A couple honorable mentions, just because I know that they will help the newer, like, modelers or builders, would be Gap Fill and Resize Align. Basically, if you're doing something like this and you need all of these to be touching and you want it to be very easy, you can go ahead and go to plugins and go to gap fill. And then I just leave them here 
and you just click on the edge you would like. So we have this edge and this edge. And just like that, it connects the parts. We'll go ahead and do it again with this edge and this edge. And you could even do the sides as well if you want a smooth transition like that. But most of the time, I don't use it. If I want parts to connect, I just use the Archimedes V2 plugin that we went over earlier in the video. But I think that is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.